This video focuses on auditing an organization's manufacturing process, making effective use of the process FMEA and the control plan. In the audit preparation, the auditor has identified there have been several customer complaints related to the product being manufactured in this cell. After reviewing the PFMEA and control plan, the auditor now goes to the shop floor to follow audit trails. The auditor is talking to the machine operator. Watch this video and identify whether the auditor does this audit effectively. Are you aware of any complaints being internal or customer with this machine? Yeah, I mean, during the uh, weekly cell meeting, the supervisor advised of any issues. So we were advised of some flash that was appearing on the end of the component. Okay. And can you explain to me what checks you perform on this product? Okay, yep. I do 100% visual, so every component gets visually checked. And then I do a 1 in 50 dimensional check using this jig here. So I use this vernier and we do some width checks, some length checks with it. Okay, and what standard do you check against? Okay, we should have a um, master sample, a master standard. Should be there, but it got lost a few weeks ago. But I've been here about six months, so I know exactly what I'm looking for anyway. Okay. Well, if you look here, your control plan states that you check all products visually using the master sample, and then one part in every 25 should be checked using the jig. Okay. Uh, and then your process FMEA states that one part in every 10 should be checked. Okay, well, I mean, I'm unaware of the FMEA or the control plan. I, I just literally work for the work instructions. That's all I use here. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you. So let's summarize. The good thing in this video is that the auditor has used performance data to focus audit trails leading down to the shop floor, following up on some previously identified customer related problems. Secondly, the auditor is talking directly to the person operating the machine and performing the relevant inspection checks. In many organizations, it is likely that the auditor will not be aware of the process FMEA and control plan requirements, they will work with the related work instructions that should be derived from these documents. However, it is obvious in this video example that the PFMEA does not match the control plan and the control plan does not match the operator instruction. So this would be a non-conformity against IATF requirement 9.1.1.1 which states the organization shall verify that the process flow diagram, the PFMEA and the control plan are implemented. Given the customer related problems, this could turn out to be a major nonconformity. Also, the operator stated there was currently no master sample or any other acceptance criteria available to verify products against. This again would be a potential non-conformity against IETF 16949 requirement 8.6.6 .6 acceptance criteria. Following the shop floor audit, the auditor should then follow the audit trails. In this example, he could follow the audit trails to calibration of the jig or to verify the operator competency. So let's summarize the key learning points. Audits in manufacturing should include interviewing the people that actually perform the work. So in this case, the auditor did a good job by auditing the operator of the machine. Audits should always verify the linkages between the process FMEA, the control plan and the relevant work instructions. Finally, audit trails should always be prioritised based firstly around any related customer issues and then any internal issues. For more information, visit the website in the description and don't forget to subscribe.